everybody. How are you today? I am Marianne from Brock University. I am an ESL instructor and I teach English as a second language at Brock University in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. Some of you have been joining me for some grammar conversation. And last week we talked about idioms and we covered a lot of idioms. So for those of you who've watched, I really hope you've been practicing. Today, I would like to answer Carolyn's question. Carolyn sent me an email and she would like to know a little bit more about using articles. Articles consist of a, and, and the. A, and, and the. These are called articles. And I think Carolyn might be struggling with these because a lot of languages don't use articles. English uses them, but a lot of languages don't use them. So Carolyn and anybody else out there who may be struggling with using articles, hopefully I will be able to help you today. So let's get started. I would like to first begin with using the article a. Ah. Now, I can't use a whiteboard right now because if I use a whiteboard, it's going to show up backwards. So you're just going to have to listen carefully to my words and I will try and speak slowly so you can understand what I'm saying. Starting with the letter A. A is, as you know, the first letter in the alphabet, but it's also an article and we pronounce it a or a. However you would like to say it in your sentence, I say a, the short a sound. Now, when do we use a for an article? Well, articles are used, speaking of a and an, they are both used before singular count nouns. Now, what does singular mean? Singular means just one. What does plural mean? Plural means more than one. And if we are speaking about a noun, a person, a place, or a thing of more than one, we don't use articles. We don't use a and an. That is very, very important for you to remember. Now, when do we use a? Well, if we are speaking and our noun begins with a consonant sound, a consonant sound, then we use a. Well, what's a consonant sound? A consonant is any letter in the alphabet that is not a vowel. A vowel consists of A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U. These are vowels. Now, when we use vowel sounds, we don't use a. We use an. With consonant sounds, we use a. What's a consonant sound? A consonant sound is B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. In Canada, we say Z, we don't say Z. Now, those are consonant sounds. When you hear a consonant sound on a single count noun, you use a. So, Carolyn, an example would be a, what's that? A panda. A panda. What letter does panda begin with? P. P. It's a P sound. Panda a panda. So we would say a because panda begins with a consonant sound. Another example that we could use might be ah! 
spider. What sound does spider begin with? S spider. What sound is that? If you said S, you are correct. And S is a consonant. So we would say a spider. And you might use this in a sentence saying, there is a spider in my house. If you have a spider this size in your house, you need to move because this is not normal and it looks like it can kill you. A spider. Use a before you use the consonant sound. Consonant sound. Now, when we are using articles, it can be a little bit tricky because in English, we use them before a single count noun. But what if I say pandas and it's plural? If it's more than one, there's no a. Uh. Now, let's move on to an. We use an before a single count noun that begins with a vowel sound. For example, an apple, an apple. This is an apple. So let's say Carolyn, who wrote in and asked me about articles. Carolyn, you could use this in a sentence by saying, please give me an apple. Please give me an apple. And that would be correct because apple has the sound of a at the beginning of the word. And a is the letter a and a is a vowel. Another example we could use is orange and orange. Please give me an orange. Why do we say an? Well, if you said because orange begins with a vowel sound, you are correct. Please give me an orange. Now, it gets a little bit tricky if I have two apples. Do I say, please give me an apple? Mm, please give me two apples. You would say, please give me two apples because I have two and that makes it plural. Now, if I have two apples and I can still say, would you like an apple? That would be okay. And you could say, oh, please give me an apple. That would be okay. But when I'm talking about more than one thing, we don't use a or an. Please give me an orange. Please give me two oranges. Plural always gets S unless it's irregular. If it's irregular, there's no S. Another example that we can use with a vowel sound could be elephant. This is an elephant. This is an elephant. What letter does E, <laughs> elephant, begin with? <laughs> if you said E, you are correct. This is an elephant. Can you think of another thing or another noun that begins with E that we can use with an? Ta-da! An egg an egg. This is an egg. Now, Carolyn might say, can you please cook me an egg? I'm starving. And I might say, Carolyn, would you like an egg? I'm cooking eggs. Would you like an egg? And that's how we would use an with articles or with single count nouns that begin with a vowel sound. Now, there are some words like our, our. 
What time is it? What hour is it? Well, with hour, even though the beginning of the word is spelled with an H, we don't say the H. The H is silent. Therefore, what sound is hour? Hour. Well, I hear ow. Oh, I hear the O sound. Hour. I hear an O W sound. I don't hear the H. The H is a consonant, but it is a silent consonant in the word hour. So for hour, we would say an hour because it is a vowel sound, not a consonant sound. See you in an hour. I will be there in an hour. Not a hour, an hour, because the sound is a vowel sound. And remember, you guys, when you are studying articles, you are listening for sounds, vowel sounds or consonant sounds. It's very important that you realize that because if you go by the spelling, sometimes it will not be correct. Now, let's use another example with a. Ah. Hmm. We know we use a ah with a consonant. So let's try, mm, let me think. How about grapes? Do you guys like grapes? Now, I have a grape. A grape. Grapes. Grapes, grapes with an S is plural. A singular grape is singular. So if it's a single count noun, we would say a grape. Why a? Because grape begins with G sound. G, grape, a grape. Can I have some grapes? That makes it plural, and then we would not use an article with more than one. Here's another example. Microphone. Microphone. What letter begins the word microphone? Mm. M. M is the beginning of microphone and M is a consonant. So we would say, pass me a microphone so I can sing you a song. That will never happen. Pass me the microphone, so or pass me a microphone if there's more than one. Pass me a microphone so I can sing you a song. Now that brings me to the word the. And I mentioned that when I used the microphone example because the is a little bit different. We use a with single count nouns that begin with consonants. We use an with single count nouns that begin with vowel sounds. Well, when do we use the? The is used with a lot of things because you can use the with a consonant sound. You can use the with a vowel sound. You can use the with a singular count noun. You can use the with a singular, not singular, non-count noun. Now you might say, well, what is non-count? A count noun is a noun that we can count. For example, one apple, two apples. But a word such as sugar is non-count. I can't say, pass me a sugar, because we don't count sugar. Sugar is non-count. Water is non-count. We can't say, pass me a water. We can say, pass me a bottle of water. That's okay but we cannot say, pass me a water. Now, 
sometimes you will say, pass me a water. And maybe you might say that or you might hear that. And that's okay today because it's casual speaking and really it means pass me a bottle of water. But we would not say pass me a sugar or pass me a sand. We don't use sand and sugar as single count nouns. Those are non count nouns. And when we are using non count nouns, we can use the article the, not a, not an, the. So you could say, pass me the microphone. But wait, microphone is count. So when would we use the? Well, you can use the in a situation where something is specific. Specific, what does that mean? Specific means that the reader, sorry, the listener and the speaker both know the noun. For example, the sun. I would not say to you, look at a sun. It is so bright. I wouldn't say that. I would say, look at the sun. It is so bright. Now, why would I say the sun? Because first of all, there's one. Second of all, you know the sun and I know the sun. We both know which sun I'm talking about. That makes it specific. If something is known by both people, it can be called specific. Now, let's say we use another specific noun, such as the TV. Maybe you're at home and you and your family are watching TV. Somebody might say, okay, turn off the TV. We wouldn't say turn off a TV. Why? Because there is the one TV that you and your family are watching. And so as a result, that would be the TV. It is the TV in the house. And sometimes when we are talking about school, library, hospital, park, we usually use the in front of those nouns. Why? Because if I am talking about a park, it will probably be a park in my neighborhood that I know and that the listener also knows. So we might say, I'm going to the park. I'm not going to say I'm going to a park because that could be any park in the area. And maybe you live in an area with many parks. But if you live in an area with just one park, then you can say, I'm going to the park. Now, the same applies for a hospital. If you live in an area with just one hospital, you can say, go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. You wouldn't say go to a hospital if both you and the listener know which hospital you are referring to or you are talking about. That would make a big difference. Now, if you lived in Toronto or a big city with many hospitals, then you could say, I'm going to a hospital. And then you might have to clarify which hospital. But if you live in a smaller place with just one hospital or two hospitals, but you know which one you're going to go to, you can say, I'm going to the hospital. Now, we also use that, that phrase with school. I'm going to the school. Now, if you know which school I'm teaching at or going to, and I know which school you are going to or studying at, then we can say, I'm going to the school because we both know which school I'm talking about. And that's an example, you guys, of how we can use the with those kinds of examples. Now, we can also use the with plural count nouns. Plural count nouns. What's an example? Well, I've given you a couple. Oranges, for start. Show me the oranges. Here they are. Show me an orange. Here you are. 
show me the oranges. Here they are. This is how we would use the with a plural count noun. Another good example we could use would be teeth. Teeth. The teeth. Well, would we say the teeth? We might say your teeth. How do I say teeth singular? A tooth. Why a? Because tooth begins with the T sound. T, t, tooth. A tooth. Plural is teeth. Now, if I am using these teeth as an example, then I might say, where are the teeth? Where are the teeth? Oh, here they are. And that's how I would use the. But normally, we don't say the teeth if they are in somebody's mouth. You wouldn't say that. You would say it if you were using it as an example, like I am with this now, another way we can use the is we've covered count nouns, we've covered non-count nouns like pass the sugar, pass the salt, pass the water, no a, uh, no an. It has to be the because it is non-count. What about count nouns? Well, we can use the with count nouns. If I know the noun and you know the noun, I might say, how is the horse? How is the horse? If I know the horse and you know the horse, we would say the horse because the is talking about a specific horse. I wouldn't say a horse. That would be different because I know the horse and you know the horse. If it is a specific horse, we don't use a. If something is specific, we use the. No a and no an. You might say, why can't we use the for everything? Well, you can unless it is specific. Sorry, unless it is not specific. If something is not specific, you cannot use the. And that is really important, you guys, to remember. Now, when you are using articles, a, an, and the, when you are using articles, it is really important for you to be able to practice. How can you practice? Try with your roommate, practice with your family, practice with your homestay family. Listen for uses of articles in TV shows or movies. When I talk to you guys, I use articles all the time. And remember, if you have any more questions about articles and you need more clarification, Send me an email to the address below and I will be able to send you a reply and I'll be able to answer your questions. Send an email, send a question about any of the grammar that you might be studying or that you might be confused about. Carolyn, I hope I answered all your questions about articles. A, uh, an, and the. Let's think of three more examples. Would you like an egg? This is a panda. These are apples. No a, uh, no an, because it's count. These are oranges. No a, uh, no an because it's count. Look at the sun. Give me 
the orange. Now, why did I say the orange? Because in this sentence, you know the orange and I know the orange. So it is a specific orange. It is not a general orange, which is what we use a and an for. I hope I answered some of your questions and I hope that I made it a little bit clearer when to use a, an, and the. If you guys have any more questions or you need a little bit more clarification, please send us an email to the email address that is on the screen and I would be happy to answer your grammar questions. Thank you so much for stopping in today at Drop In with Mary Ann. This has been a lot of fun and I am looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye.